हरे कृष्णा वर्ड्स आर नॉट जस्ट वहीकल्स ऑफ थॉट बट ऑल्सो इंजिन ऑफ थॉट ऑफन वी थिंक दैट वी यू दैट वर्ड्स आर नीडेड फॉर अस टू एक्सप्रेस आवर थॉट्स एंड जस्ट एज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ट्रैवल फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनादर वी नीड अ वहीकल सिमिलरली we think of words as vehicles which will take our thoughts from us to others now that's true but words are not just that words are not just the vehicles but they are also the engines of thought that means words energize our thoughts words actually direct and drive our thoughts words stimulate and catalyze our thoughts how is that say for example if we memorize some quotable quote if you remember mem- memorize a uh, a verse from the bhagavad gita which is filled with sublime wisdom then when we recite that verse when we let those words come on our lips and through that come into our consciousness then those words become the engine for our thoughts so just as the engine carry drives the vehicle similarly those words become the drivers for our consciousness so by repeating those verses those wo- those words the verses that comprise the verses that are comprised of those words actually our thoughts start going in sublime directions and thus words are precious resources especially words of wisdom are precious resources they are ready made templates of thought that can help us uh, sublimate our thoughts our consciousness at any time and that's why such words need to be treasured they need to be memorized they need to be recited and they need to be contemplated in fact the bhagavad gita declares in the 17th chapter that reciting scriptural verses reciting the words of scripture is a is a austerity of the speech it is a discipline if we subject our speech to regularly our speech will become uplifted our their and our speech will uplift us will raise our consciousness towards the design, divine anudveg karam vakyam satyam priyahitam chayat swadhyaya abhyasanam chaiva vanmayam tapa uchyate swadhyaya abhyasanam chaiva that by reciting by reciting the words of wisdom given in scripture we perform an austerity of the speech and like any other austerity such as fasting it purifies us it elevates us so by recognizing that words are not just used to express our thoughts but words can also be used to discover our thoughts to and to stimulate our thoughts to direct our thoughts we can give words especially words of wisdom their due value and treasure them and utilize them to drive our consciousness towards the divine thank you Hare Krishna